58. Consider the chemical structures shown below. Identify each vitamin as either water soluble or fat soluble. So let's start with number one. What we have here is vitamin B6. This is known as pyridoxine. Is pyridoxine, would you say, is a water soluble vitamin or a fat soluble vitamin? So looking at the functional groups, we have a lot of hydroxyl groups. So there's a lot of hydrogen bonds here. This molecule is very polar. So because it's polar, this is going to be a water soluble vitamin. You can take this with a glass of water and your body's going to absorb it quickly. Now what about number two? Is it water soluble or fat soluble? What would you say? So this is vitamin B1, also known as thymine. If we look at the functional groups, we can see that we have a hydroxyl group, so that's polar. We have an NH2 group that's also polar. And we have a lot of carbon nitrogen bonds, which are polar as well. So there's a lot of polar functional groups in this molecule, therefore it's going to be water soluble. Now moving on to compound three, this is vitamin D3. Vitamin D3 is produced by your body when your skin is exposed to sunlight. The UV radiation from the sun helps your body to create this vitamin. Now is this a water soluble vitamin or a fat soluble vitamin? Notice that we only have one polar group, the OH group. All of this is basically carbon and hydrogen atoms. The hydrocarbon part of this molecule, that's the nonpolar tail, and it's a big nonpolar region. So therefore, this molecule is relatively nonpolar, so we're going to say it's a fat-soluble molecule or a fat-soluble vitamin. Now let's move on to number four. This is a form of vitamin A. This molecule is called retinol. Now is it water soluble or fat soluble? Well we only have a small polar group and we have a massive hydrocarbon tail. So that part is hydrophobic, this part is hydrophilic. The word phil means love, so hydrophilic, the OH group loves water. It dissolves nicely in it. That's the polar head. This is the nonpolar tail. So the majority of this molecule is nonpolar. Therefore, this is going to be a fat soluble vitamin. So if you were to take vitamin D3 and vitamin A with a glass of water, the absorption won't be as effective compared to if you were to take it with a, a fatty meal. You're going to absorb these vitamins a lot more efficiently. So your B vitamins and vitamin C, those are water soluble vitamins. Vitamin A, D, E, and K are fat soluble vitamins. Now I want to take a moment to let you know that the video that you're currently watching only represents one test question out of the 90 questions that are found in my Organic Chemistry 1 exam 1 video. So for those of you who want access to the full video, check out the links in the description section below this video.